button. Yeah. Oh, I'll press your red button. <laughs> mm. Hold on. We must be sterile for this little operation. I can never do this properly. Good enough. <laughs> I am Dr. Joseph Haita. I'm sorry Vincent Crampton couldn't be here. He's in the middle of something. <laughs> right? That's a German joke. <laughs> Germans are very good at humor. <laughs> Hold on a second. I believe I see a little copyright infringement on my diagram. What is going on here? What is going on here? What? Ridiculous. I'll have to take that up with the medical board. Oh, anyway, a bit of frustration though. This club is awful. I'm going in bare hands. Forgive my German accent. <laughs> You guys might know of this idiot, Dr. Frankenstein. Not the old man, but his great-great-great-grandson keeps bothering me. So I thought I would write him a letter. <coughs> Salutations, Frankenstein. Thought I'd drop you a quick line in response to your kind offer. I must gracefully decline. I respect your dedication to resume examination of your grandsire's study in disparate limb reintegration and no doubt you've taken heed how I recently succeeded in my radical experiments with human centipedes. Your petition to combine our resources first seems fine, but I fear your goals aren't mine. For you're focused on combining many paths to make the whole. Many parts to make the whole. <laughs> A scheme your ancestor extolled through the pe though the peasants and the critics found unpleasant, impolitic. A brass abomination, as was clear in their decision to eradicate his brainchild through an act of conflagration. And had you read my latest thesis in the journal, Chic Diseases, you would know my expertise in separating Siamese twins. And if you're saying Siamese, it's conjoined, you bigot. Please, don't dare bore me with a lecture on my chosen nomenclature. Rivals love to cast dispersions, imply my art sexual perversion. The slander gets me so annoyed, everyone's a goddamn Freud! <laughs> From my umpteen surgeries, I've learned all men desire the tether to other men. So it is my duty to connect them back together. So forgive if I make light of your invite, but it's trite to think your star is any brighter than the brilliant Joseph Haider. You dabble in recycling death row corpses, psych ward rejects, rotting parts from mortuaries, without thought, extraordinary! I work not in parts, but holes, taking individual souls, Connecting one whole to another. Connecting sister to a brother. <laughs> I'll admit, my work has drawbacks. People constantly complaining. Like, the food is not organic, <laughs> local sourced, or multigrain. All have got a gluten allergy or GMOs are in it. Should any of this matter when your dinner's someone shit? Ah! <laughs> My dobies never nitpicked. No, oh, my little dobies, I love them. When sold in canine chain. But they really stunk at fetch and the leg humping was insane. But my subjects do have class. 
why your freak should be condemned. A sutured bum begging for coins while mine hit the ATM. There's a little joke in there. In your body. <laughs> I told you us Germans are really good at humor. <laughs> Oh, meet me later. I have a little experiment here. Take part. You're a sad sack out of luck while I won the lotto, man. And when relaxing on the couch, I used them as an auto man. That's a really bad joke. I admit it. <laughs> My mission, unity. Connecting all humanity into one great centipede that stretches to infinity. And you're all invited. <laughs> Once you choose to give up hack work and create, create, creating mob inciting, perhaps then we can talk sincerely, Dr. Height.